Today I have something totally silly. When I lived in Minnesota, I had this animatronic ape head that I sat right next to the front door. He would act as a house greeter. If anyone was brave enough to make it past this kind of creepy ape head, they'd probably be okay dealing with the goings-ons of a not-so-smart smart house. So, unfortunately, uh, that ape head ended up dead at a shooting range. So when we moved to Utah, um, we put this, we had a mannequin put him by the, her by the front door and dressed her up and it's kind of fun, surprise people. The delivery people were never so keen on her, so she didn't make the move to Alabama. So now that we're here in Alabama, figured it was time for a new greeter. And you'll find her right over there. Uh, let's go say hello. So Ada Fruit has this really fun kit that's really popular during Halloween times uh, from which this guy was built. Uh, now I added a couple of things to this kit. You see what it does is he'll, the eyes will follow you. And not only does the eye follow you, but the head follows you as, as well. So it's based on a clever part here is this sensor here which is a infrared array uh, that will detect the heat signature of the hottest thing, typically your head or torso and follow you. So see it does a pretty good job even if I move fairly fast and the eyes kind of precede the head movement. So he has, she has a younger, older brother. Before we built her, we built this guy up here who does not have a servo, but he's got the Lord of the Rings eyes of Shawn, or whatever those eyes were called, uh, that do does the same tracking. And the heat sensor in this case is hidden right in the nose there. You kind of move around and the eyes of doom keep tracking you. So, I'll give, um, so we'll do a little more detail here. Let me take the mask off and we'll give you a little more detail on uh, how we built this thing. So now we've gotten really creepy. The mask off, it's like we took the flesh off of a skull. But you can see a little better now the kit you can get from Adafruit. It's called their Monster Mask Kit. It has two uh, OLED display boards in it that have mounted on them these these glass uh, lenses and it gives you a better eyeball effect. Uh, it's not tracking me now because I've hidden the infrared um, heat sensor down there. So that connects up to this port here and on the other side of this kit you have a servo port you can see that then drives down this servo that's inside of this little uh, platform I got from DF Robots. I'll have a link to the parts uh, below. Uh, this pretty much you can buy this kit it's all turnkey uh, if you want just the eyes that follow you. You can easily switch between different color eyes or different eye effects. Um, to get the heat sinking uh, eye effect, that's a project another fellow did, uh, Felly, I don't know which, <laughs> and I'll link to that project as well. All I did was take the code that they had for that project and I modified it so that it would, in addition to driving the eyes, it would drive the um, uh, servo as well. So I'll put a link to that code. Uh, and uh, what else can I tell you? The uh, cost of this was, you know, I'll, have to, I'll put that in the project link below. I think it was uh, roughly $100 for the, the whole kit. Uh, so as I promised, a little bit silly, but a lot of bit fun. Um, got any questions about it, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.